Lilium was the first company that really made a compelling design, so different with a lot of innovation and advanced tech, high efficiency and so many safety features. It looks like it's the Tesla of the EV tolls. The first look at the model and the arrangement of the motors with the wingspan, this really captured my attention with impressive specs and a business plan that really made sense to me. They laid down the details of the execution plan from the origin to entering the market, the plan on how to target and advance their business that look viable and sustainable. After Lilium announced their prototype, so many other companies entered the sector developing futuristic aircrafts with various propulsion systems. All of a sudden it felt like this is doable and electric VTOLs are the future. This movement also brought a lot of criticism regarding safety, efficiency and cost involved. A lot of people including Elon Musk raised concerns about difficulties and the risk of going in that direction offering different solutions focusing on ground and underground transportation systems. Um, why isn't that a better solution? You save all that tunneling cost. Right. I, I'm in favor of flying things. Obviously, I do rockets. So I, I like things that fly. This is not some inherent bias against flying things. But th th there is a challenge with flying cars in that they, they'll be quite noisy. Uh, the, the wind force generated will be very high. Uh, they, th there's, um, Let's just say that if something's flying over your head, if there are a whole bunch of flying cars going all over the place, um, that is not an, exi an, an anxiety-reducing uh, <laughs> situation. Oh, you want a flying car? How about everyone around you has a flying car, too? Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound so good. Whenever I'd give a talk and people would ask me about what opportunities do you see in the world, I'd say tunnels. Can someone please build tunnels? So after four or five years of begging people to build tunnels, and still no tunnels. I was like, okay, I want to build a tunnel. <laughs> Recently, x showed their iteration of four flying car prototypes and the first manned flight that lasting long enough to reassure confidence in flying cars. These vehicles look more advanced compared to what I have seen so far from the competition and it feels like x is way ahead anyone else right now. I'm curious to see what is behind the closed curtains what is not ready to be shown in x prototyping lab. Right after Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin successfully completed their space flights, getting humanity closer to space travel and sharing this amazing experience with the world, a few weeks later, Opener's Blackfly electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle performed at the Air Venture in Oshkosh a full flight showing and announcing that by the end of the summer 2021, the company will have 25 units ready to be delivered to the first customers. Opener representative did not disclose the price of the units, but this is what it's written on their website as of today. This is really promising, but an SUV can range between 21,000 US dollars up to the most expensive Range Rover that can reach 225,000 US dollars. I hope the price will be in the lower range, between let's say fifty to hundred thousand dollars, so more people can afford and purchase this amazing vehicle. Yes, regarding regulations and safety, a lot has to be done in this sector. So many things need to be addressed on where this vehicle and how it can be used, on private property or public. The cool part is that it can take off from anywhere, land or water or any terrain. It doesn't have wheels and it does not require flat surfaces. It can land pretty much anywhere. It does make less noise than a car or a motorcycle. Yes, a gasoline one. And it looks like it's easy to operate and it's designed so anyone can fly it. Super exciting vehicle. It will fly 25 miles in range and speeds between 61 to 80 miles an hour. It charges 80% in 25 minutes. And after it covers the 25 miles, it looks like it have a 20% reserve just to have as a safety. So many questions are still not answered, but I really like that Opener company is really moving full speed ahead. This is the first group that is sending first 25 units to their customers this year. This is amazing news and achievement that can be only done if they pass full test and certification and that's a big deal achievement and one step forward adoption and seeing this type of vehicles in the year now. I look forward to the competition to respond with their models, hitting the market with the vehicles that are reasonably priced. I really hope soon to have a chance to meet Opener team and have a chance to fly and share this amazing experience in real time with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and share this video and I'll see you next time.